Well, my wife and I both stepped back uh, in, in panic and shock. Albert Lemieux describes what it was like as a huge oak tree came crashing through his house, a nasty batch of storms Thursday night, some producing straight line winds up to 70 miles per hour rolled through the Timonium area. Lemieux says he almost went outside to remove an umbrella from his deck, but decided not to. In that second of hesitation, not going forward, it probably saved my life because at that point, this tree, which has a, a three to four foot diameter at the base of the tree, came crashing down on this addition. Nearby neighbor Eric Hartman had a near miss of his own. A similar sized oak tree just missed his house, taking out his shed. Reminded me of the derecho that we went through years back. Uh, it was just like straight line winds. Um, and it, the, the no noise was deafening. Baltimore County fire officials say they responded to dozens of calls, mostly for downed trees, downed power lines, and debris blocking roads. BGE says the storm affected 44,000 customers. There was also a huge tragedy. We see a lot of terrible things in the business that we're in. There isn't much that's worse than this. Police say 14-year-old Aji Lawrence, an eighth grader at Cockeysville Middle School, was killed when a tree fell on Pot Spring Road at Deer Fox Lane onto the car she was traveling in. Two other girls, 16 and 13, as well as Lawrence's mother, the driver, were injured and taken to a hospital. Rescue crews had to use a crane to remove the tree from the car. Our focus here in the fire department was providing care to uh, the other occupants of the car, the other uh, young girls who were injured, um, the mother uh, who obviously was extremely emotionally distraught. Now, as far as power outages are concerned, at the height of the storm, about 44,000 people were without power. BGE says at this point, about 4,000 people still do not have power. They expect the majority of that number to have power back later this evening. They do remind folks there are some folks that probably won't have power, those with individual lines, uh, until the end of the weekend. We're live in Timonium tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News. Hello, well, thank you. And not far from where that deadly storm moved through Baltimore County, residents off Ridgely Road are cleaning up massive storm damage as well. 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti continues our team coverage tonight. I expected to come home and see some trees down, but I didn't expect to see a tree like still in our house. Beth and Brad Benson are grateful they weren't inside their Margate Road home with their two young kids when a tree in the side yard went straight through their master bedroom. The whole root ball just came right up from the heavy winds, fell right over this way, right through the wall of the house, which you can see right there. Just up the street, lounge chairs piled together, bridge the gap where trees took down part of a fence at a local swim club. <laughs> Just feet away on Knowlton Road, crews begin the painstaking process of removing a tree that now seems to smother this home. Oh, it's pretty bad. It, it, this hole literally all over the roof. And limbs all over the ground. Residents out in the light of day talking about the violent storm that hit this Timonium neighborhood. This one was, was so intense and the um, hail came down like you wouldn't believe. And we had a like, quarter size hail coating the floor of the uh, ground and the wind you couldn't see across the street. It was so forceful coming up Margate. It was like a straight wind and I was driving nothing and then straight into a hurricane. My son thought there was a tornado coming through and my brother told him, oh no, of course it's not a tornado. And then as soon as he says that, the, the door blows open and not long after that, the tree comes down. That tree stretches from the driveway into the street, blocking the road. The family is grateful they weren't outside at the time and knowing a 14-year-old girl was killed in the storm gives them perspective on the damage. It makes us seem like nothing in comparison, you know, it really does. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.